Welcome to part 5 of Shark King's Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. In the last episode, I tried to catch something in Route 116, I think it was, but then this little snot had to come out and say nope. <laughs> but at least I got some training done for the next gym. Well, the first gym, what did I say next? I raised this little cutie up to level 10 where she finally learned Water Gun. Don't know how effective it's gonna be with just 9 special attack, but... Like I said in the last episode, relying on one Pokemon to clear out any gym just sounds like a really bad idea, so I'll take any help I can get. With that said, let's move on to the actual gym challenge, huh? The first gym, not the next one. <laughs> so yeah, I could take on the trainers, or I could just try and sneak past them and get straight to Roxanne herself. Yeah, that's easy enough, but I think I'd rather get as much experience as I can get before this, cause I am actually kinda nervous. After all, I'm still a bit under-leveled. Yeah, 13 is under-leveled for my standards here. <laughs> Plus, I wanna see how Mari Maru actually does against these Geodude. Well, she outspeeds them. That's a start. Not quite one shot, though, because again, 9 special attack. Still, it's well enough. I'll take a two shot on these things. Looks like she'll get a couple levels before this. I could take on these two in a tag battle, but I'd rather fight them individually. Alright, you little squirt. Your rocks will die, and you'll give me all of your experience. That's how this is gonna work, Tommy. Level 8. I might actually one-shot this thing. Get him, Marimaru! Squirt water in his face! Because that somehow kills it. <laughs> yeah. All the experience for you, and no special attack gain from that. <laughs> eh, go figure. At least you can still knock out a level 8 Geodude, right? Right. That careful nature, though. Drop in your special attack when it's already pitifully low to begin with. Oh well. Now let's see about this dude. What are you gonna have? Geodude, Geodude, or Geodude? I'm guessing it's Geodude because all these other guys have Geodude. Yep, what'd I tell you? Geodude. Level 8 just like the other guy too. Your tag battle partner. Get out of here! Yeah, get out of here. And give me that level up, thank you very much. Still no special attack boost. That's actually legitimately worrying. But I'll just take this knockout and be on my way, I guess. Wow, that actually didn't kill. <laughs> Again, it's hard to see that last little pixel there with my setup. But whatever. That's halfway to level 13, but there's no one left to fight except the gym leader herself, and for that, I need to do a bit of preparation beforehand. Okay, so I healed up Marimaru, and I gave her and Gax an Orenberry. My last two ones, to be precise. Because these two are going to have to do all the work in this gym. So if I remember right, in Emerald, Roxanne has like two Geodude and her signature nose pass. Which, there's not much I'm going to be able to do to it aside from just spam my super effective attacks. And even then they're not going to do that much because it's pure rock type and has pretty good special defense. But in any case, let's get this over with. Let's start a gym battle, our first in the game, and be able to hear the gym leader battle scene. Probably my favorite in the entire series actually, as far as gym scenes go. I don't know, there's just something I've always liked about it. One thing I'm not liking, though, is the thought of not being able to one-shot the Geodude with frickin' Water Gun of all attacks. But that's just how it is. I wonder, though, will that make her waste a potion? Made her waste a Rock Tomb, that at least is nice. There we go. And I'm pretty sure this will still be a knockout unless I get some crazy damage roll shenanigans. Nope, that's it. And that is the level up. Now will you please raise your special attack? Really? 
It's been nine for, like, four levels now if you count ten. That's, like I said, that's legitimately worrying. This part of the song perfectly encapsulates my worry. <laughs> well, there's the rock tomb. I'm guessing you'll actually be slower than Geodude now because of that. Unless she wastes another potion. Well, is that actually wasting, though? Kinda hard to tell. Nope, it's still going. Uh, Yeah, let's tackle. You're still faster. Fast enough to go for the disrespect on this thing. <laughs> but now comes the real beast. The Nose Pass. I got two things that can hit it for super effective damage. Let's hope they're enough, because they're both two levels under this thing. I could set up Defense Curl, but I'm already slower than this thing, I'm betting. Yeah, and... Oh, it's just using Harden? Alright, I'm just gonna use Special Attacks against it all day. Wait a minute, though. I just remembered. Does this thing have, like, Block? Oh man, if it does, I might want to set up that defense curl after all. Oh my god, I was right! And that was just off memory. I didn't look this up or anything. I just somehow remembered this thing having block. Well, now Marimaru's in this to win it or die trying. Because I can't switch, and according to my rule, I can't use a potion from my bag. I just have that one orange berry to keep me going. So... Hopefully, Roxanne doesn't have any more potions. Hopefully, she wasted them on her two Geodude. Yeah, this thing got like an Orin Berry? Yeah, Orin Berry. It'd be way overpowered if it had a Citrus Berry at this point, because those things kill 30 HP in Gen 3. Yeah, they're fixed to 30. But I got an Orin Berry of my own, sucker! So, unless something crazy happens, I should have this in the bag. Of course, I'm really worried now that I dared to say that, because we all know how these things go, right? You can do this, my little ninja marrow, if you get what I'm referring to. Is this gonna be it? Did that do it? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that block had me legitimately worried, but yeah! Now Mari Maru is the highest level, and she finally raises her special attack. <laughs> oh, man. No, but you're awesome, though. You did it! You conquered a gym on your own! No help from Gex, even! That's... wow. I'm actually impressed. <laughs> yeah, I got the stone badge. All thanks to this little cutie. So now I get rage attack. Which, I think it's like a 10% boot or something in this game. Yeah. I also get Rock Tomb, which I don't think I'm gonna give to Gex, because he has like a minus attack nature. Bold, I think. Wait, can he even learn Rock Tomb? That's the question. Oh yeah, he can. But I'm not so sure that he wants to, to be honest. Like I said, bold nature, all that stuff. Not feeling that bold. <laughs> But yeah, I tried to leave and, whoa, there's that guy. That's the same guy I had to thump in the woods. Don't take my goods! <laughs> I like how good is all cap. But whatever, I need a heal after that. Now that that's taken care of, let's chase down that guy, huh? And, oh yeah, there's also this guy who's gonna stop me from chasing that guy, even though it's in his best interest to just let me do my thing. I don't know. It's kind of pointless, but I guess he had to say his piece or something now. I remember I picked up a rappel in the last episode, and you bet I'm using it now. There we go. Now I can't encounter anything. Nothing else can get in my way. Not even- oh. <laughs> I guess he just talks to you automatically, and roars in your face or something. So this is Rust Turf Tunnel, where I would've caught a Wizmer if that little Wizmer didn't appear in Route 116. Yeah. Even got a Pokeball I'm not gonna use here. Yeah, this guy's so insignificant I barely even talk about him. But at least I get to hear this battle theme again. Yeah, we're all about the good battle scenes this episode. <laughs> so yeah, 
He's got that Pochiana again, just a couple levels higher than last time. Let's see how it likes the Bullet Seed to the neck. Wow, Gax, what is with you and your weird Bullet Seed placements? <laughs> Only hit twice that time, but this should be no problem. And that's a two. That's a three. One more, nope. Didn't think so. Sand attack, ugh. Well, let's try quick attack. Of course not. <laughs> One sand attack I'm out, and I'm already missing. <laughs> Just like my mouse is already missing its words, I don't know. Come on! There we go. Took three tries after just one sand attack. That's pretty stupid. I hate accuracy reduction so much. But whatever. Yeah, this job went horribly wrong for this guy. And now I got my good, which they totally misspelled my name. I know that pain all too well. Yeah, go ahead, take your Pico back. And just let me get on with my thing, okay? Because I remember there's one more thing I want to do this episode, and it involves yet another good battle theme. If I'm remembering it right, that is. Oh, but... Do I have anything that really wants to learn Cut, besides Gax? That's a note, because I'm not giving that to Gax. Like, not really. <laughs> it's just not worth it. So yeah, you. I got your thing back. And what are you gonna give me? A second great ball. I got two balls now. Make of that what you will. And he's also taking me to this place, the My Corporation's third floor, which they keep misspelling my frickin' name. I don't appreciate that. Call me an ingrate, but I really don't. So yeah, just walk away and walk back for whatever reason. Oh yeah. Take me to your leader. There you are. You're Mr. Stone. Heh. <laughs> Some name there, buddy. But yeah, I had to help out this guy because he keeps getting himself into scrapes. You really gotta watch him better. So, uh, yeah, just this letter. I'll take that and your goods. My good, whatever. And I'll also take your Pokenav. Taking all the things. But... Yeah. Now that I have the Pokenav, I can just really do nothing in particular with it, but hey, it's there. Actually, there is one thing I can do with it. And that is... Not here. <laughs> you have to step outside the building to get it, but there's this one feature that lets you rematch trainers whenever they feel like rematching you. And I feel like that might be useful later on when I actually get later into the Nuzlocke. So yeah, have to step outside the building to get that youthful feature. Semi-youthful anyway. Match call. It used to be Trainer's Eye in Ruby and Sapphire, but they had to make it fancy, I guess. And now I have to actually select it and call the president. Call me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, nice detail. He actually says he's looking out at you from his window. Now get out of here and let me move on to my last thing. Which, actually I think I want to heal beforehand. And now that I've taken care of that... Yeah, I know I was remembering, right? May shows up again. And you don't even have to talk to her. You don't have to battle her. Like, I think she might register you later if you don't talk, but... I want to do this anyway. Yeah, let's do this. Don't even have to battle, but I want to. Because I want to hear this theme again. Like I said, we're all about the good battle themes here. Got a Lotad. Not going to make that joke again, but level 13, wow. I mean, I guess I did just beat the gym, but whatever. Bullet Seed right on that leaf. Lily pad, whatever. Twice again. Nature Power Swift? How much is that gonna do? Little more than I would've liked, to be honest. Gives this thing some more Bullet Seed, hopefully more than two. I could really use more than two. Someone's not listening. 
but whatever. Just give this thing some more seeds in the, the lily pad, I guess. Critical hit. I'll take a two that time, because at least it was basically a three. Yeah, level 14 for Gex. Caught up with my little ninja beach ball thing. Which I'm gonna have to use against this Torchic. Although, I think you can take one hit before I have to split you out, so... Might as well contribute with a quick attack, right? Hope I'm not making a mistake. Oh my god, I made a mistake! Gex! <laughs> no! How hard does that thing hit? Okay, 21 special offense and it still killed me from there? Ah! Wow. Okay. That was a huge mistake on my part. I'm legitimately upset about that. Well... You already did some awesome things. Now you have to avenge your friend, the one who helped you along the way. Do it, Marimaru! Oh great, focus energy. That's not gonna be fun to deal with. Sad thing is, I'll never even get Grovile, which, as a Mystery Dungeon fan, that really saddens me. Nice! Critical hit! Now that's what I call vengeance! <laughs> oh. Okay, that was... That was a really stupid way for my starter to die. Really a stupid way for anything to die. So... I could give him a send-off now, but I think I'll save that for the next episode, because... I'm still in shock from that. I don't know if I communicated that well, but I am still in shock from that. So, I'll just have to see you next time. I should say in my next episode of Shark King's Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. See ya then.